looking for the weather. Check this out, guys. 77. Perfect paradise weather. The problem with that is it's shorts t-shirt day every day in Hawaii. So to be able to sport my heritage style, I make a day, you know, to, I don't know, cruise in my heritage style. Today we're going to talk about the 21.5 ounce Brave Star. An update, I've owned this jeans for approximately two years. I bought it in 2020, 2021, and 2022, and then now 2023. I've had, I think, three soaks and a couple of washes, and I tell you that it's finally broken uh, in and starting to really feel like it fits me well. So let's talk about it. Let's cruise. I'll show you what I do uh, during my Heritage Day uh, with my Bronco, and we'll just cruise. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Ain't she a beaut? If you haven't seen my video of the walk around of this 1974 Bronco, I think you should. Today, Partagas. Guys, this is a really small cigar, but it's the black label and it's pretty potent. Um, I decided for 2023 to uh, smoke small cigars because small cigars are um, yeah, I, big cigars I smoke like half of it <laughs> and I throw half away so I think this will make more sense financially and uh, it satisfies my needs so let's relax and smoke a cigar this week I think this is my first video of 2023 involving heritage clothing uh, and I wanted to kind of provide an update on the 21.5 ounce Brave Star um, Japanese salvage that I purchased I believe approximately two years ago. Um, yes given that I don't wear it that much because I have other salvage jeans uh, I have washed it couple of times I have soaked it a couple of times uh, my initial review is that it was it was it was tough from the box it was tough coming out of the box and in comparison to something like the iron heart 666s which is a 21 ounce that one was soft out of the box you know what I mean uh, but the moment I've been waiting for is for it to finally break through and it finally happened. So today I want to do an update uh, on this pair of jeans that in my opinion could possibly be one of the best jeans uh, that I've ever owned, salvage wise. And also not just because it's a uh, US made jeans and a Japanese salvage, but because it really is a... Uh, uh, for the money punches above its weight level. So here we go Like in many of my videos, uh, I will tell a story of what I do in a day just so that I can infuse that on what I think about these jeans, right? See here in Hawaii, 
uh, it's hot all year round. I mean, there's cool days in the 70s, maybe low 70s, but considering it's a tropical island and com in comparison to some of the uh, states in the mainland United States of America and some other places, you know, this is not cool at all. It's not cold. Um, it is always warm. So wearing jeans here is, is, is weird, right? If you don't work in an environment in which you wear jeans or long pants, more than likely you'll be wearing um, shorts. And that's what I do on the daily. So given the weather here, I have to make time to wear my heritage clothing. Uh, and those are the days in which I go out with my motorcycle, go around the island, or today, in particular, I wanted to take this Bronco out with my wife out to the beach, uh, cruise down, maybe get snacks or whatever it is, right? And so, here we begin. Haleiwa, Waialua, this area right here, is really small. I am not from here originally, but my wife is. This is probably the longest place I've lived uh, in Hawaii. So, I guess I can consider it to be local. Uh, being it small, you will always meet someone that you know, whether currently or in the past, in passing. So sure enough, we're at the uh, Haleiwa Beach Park at the monument. Again, if you've been here before, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, as we were filming, you know, my wife's filming me driving around. Uh, we, someone uh, recognized who we are and then an old friend and we ended up going to have a few drinks in the middle of the day. Uh, just so happened that I'm in my heritage clothing as well and he was curious what I was doing. But it was a good way to kind of show uh, the flexibility of having a pair of jeans, mock toes, and a pair of shirt, uh, ready to go to a bar, uh, have a couple of drinks with friends, and have a great conversation, uh, you know, reminiscing about the past and talking about the future. Uh, and, and I'm humbled to say that uh, during this conversation, uh, I've been asked about leadership in which I could tell you that 30 years in the military, I retired at a leadership position. So what a great way uh, to conversate. You know, uh, it made me feel important. It made me feel like, uh, you know, I'm back in active duty where I'm needed again for my counsel, needed again for my advice about leadership. So, wow. You know, that, that's just a great, it's a great day. So from there, we came home and here I am smoking a cigar and about to tell you what changes had occurred with this 21.5 uh, the last couple of years that I've owned it. Being this a realistic, realistic video, uh, I am not gonna edit the background. As you can hear, someone is doing yard work while I'm talking on my video here. And of course, he saw me talking to my video and the, what a good time to just cut the grass. God bless him. <laughs> so one thing I noticed is that uh, on the waist side, remember I wear a regular 34 and the advice that you get from the website uh, is to buy something one inch smaller. So I should have bought a 33 or even a 32 because the idea of uh, 20, the heavy duty denim like this it's a, a sanforized denim like this, is that uh, in time it will stretch out to a couple inches, right? Um, but the waist size have stretched out a little bit. You know, when I first got it, it was a little bit tight. It was uncomfortable actually, because like I said, it was like cardboard hard to wear it, especially when I'm riding a motorcycle. My, my belly, <laughs> you know, is like resting right on the button. And boy, it was just, I don't know, almost cutting. So, a, first though, I would like to apologize really on the noise behind me, but this is the world. The world is my studio uh, and you know me already. So I'll keep on going and hopefully this is clear enough for you to hear. After the starch from the factory, I think it's starch, right, that keeps, makes it hard like that, goes away by soaking and wearing, uh, surprisingly very soft. I'm actually very comfortable today. I wasn't hot or anything like that. I wasn't sweating. I was very comfortable because uh, the cotton is working, right? Uh, it's very soft to the feel. It's easier to put on. It's easier to button up the buttons. Um, not because the things have loosened up, but because things have 
soften, right? Um, there is a claim that heavy duty denim will fade faster, so much faster than lighter denim. And I think it may be true to this. Uh, I see a little bit of a honeycomb going on in the, my back leg and of course uh, my crotch, you know what I mean, uh, where the rubbing happens. Uh, but I think uh, it'll take maybe another 10 to 20 wears for to really see some of the fading going on and maybe one more wash or one more soak. Let's talk a little bit about the length. So this was a 36 out of the factory um, and I usually fold it you know, a couple two and a half inches wide. Um, I think the length has shortened a little bit because I'm down to about two inches wide the last time I checked on the fold. Uh, when I soak it and wash it, I unfold it, of course, so that I don't get that line. But I can see a line already uh, on the bottom of it from just having it folded when I'm wearing it. Let's not forget accessories, guys. For a watch, I'm wearing my Seiko Solar SNE395. Right there, if you can see it. Always going to be alive forever. <laughs> on a Peiko uh, strap and then of course can be cheap sunglasses <laughs> from Amazon 13 bucks that way I can beat it up and of course my keychain this is from Japan that is a guitar pick because sometimes I like to dabble with guitars uh, and this is a, a lighter for my cigars, if I don't have my butane lighter. That's pretty much how I accessorize. I mean, aside from, you know, growing my hair and the beard and things like that. But just trying to get into the, you know, my own style here, right? A few comments that I want to answer from uh, some of my videos. You know, why do you wear heavy-duty jeans in a, a hot weather like Hawaii? Uh, mo most of the time I say that to each his own, right? But I am used to wearing heavy duty uh, salvage or heavy material in the heat of the, the summer. Uh, because remember my military background, right? I was attached to the United States Marines uh, before retiring. And we would wear full on gear in the middle of the heat of Okinawa. I'm talking about like muggy weather, right? Uh, and you get, you get to learn to live with what you have uh, and get comfortable. There are ways to get comfortable. Uh, and of course, I apply the same mentality when I'm wearing my heritage jeans. But that's what it's for, right? Uh, heavy duty salvage actually protects me from the elements, especially when I'm riding my motorcycle or when I'm working down here on the yard uh, and, and, and crawling underneath vehicles and doing things underneath vehicles. I love wearing jeans because uh, it protects my legs from the oil, protects my legs from the rocks, the heat of the cement, a lot of those things. So some have also asked what sizes of jeans uh, I wear, or what, what type, right? What, what uh, style? Uh, I tend to stick to regular straight and regular taper because, again, my opinion, I love myself, sorry about that, you know, but uh, those are the type of cut that goes with my body style, right? Um, I don't think I have any business wearing any more tighter than that. Uh, I think my limit is the, like the 501 cut, regular straight, right? Um, I have baggy jeans, but they're old school cut, like the sugar cane, for example, uh, is, is a lot more baggy. Um, also, when it comes to boots, I'm not really particular uh, on wearing all heritage. Sometimes I wear sneakers just for the hell of it. Other things I've noticed, which is a positive thing, uh, the stitches, the stitches have held on really well on this 21.5 uh, uh, ounce Brave Star. Um, it, it's double stitch, triple stitch on areas that matters. And I think uh, that is designed for longevity, of course. Uh, and of course, the um, salvage ID is always going to be there because that is a design of salvage, right? It's not gonna unravel. Uh, unless you cut it, of course, but uh, it's not going to unravel. It's going to remain intact for the lifetime of the jeans and however that long it's going to be. And, and I hope for me, I will wear this 21.5, 10, 20 years from now, 
and making updates on this uh, channel about this pair of jeans, right? That is the ultimate definition of classic and heritage style is that you can wear the same things over and over again. It, you know, produces the character akin to myself, right? And what I do for every day and how I wear it. So same to you. If you really want to get into it, I highly recommend the 21.5 ounce uh, Brave Star jeans or, you know, if you watch my other videos, the Iron Heart. But for this level, an entry level seller's jeans, you cannot beat 21.5 from 21.5 ounce Brave Star jeans, Japanese salvage from Brave Star. So they're not paying me to say that. I'm not a sponsor. I'm not sponsored by Brave Star. It just so happened that I love Brave Star, right? So that's my recommendation. You know, I hope you like this video. This is my first update of 2023 on the 21.5. I will definitely use it more now that it's a lot more comfortable. I can probably ride longer with this now and not hurt the back of my legs or, you know, put it to sleep because of the of the uh, previously the, the the harsh condition of it. <laughs> Uh, now that it's softer, I think I'm going to wear it more. I'm going to make more videos, especially when I'm riding my bike. Uh, and, you know, to just have fun and share my experiences and tell you a story about the heritage style and the way I live, right? And I hope you like that. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, hey, you know, it wouldn't hurt if you subscribe. And we can increase the you know, community of men that watches Heritage Style. I'm not saying it is the only channel. I'm not saying it is the best channel. But I can tell you what you get from me. A little bit of relaxation. You know, while you're watching my videos. Uh, maybe I'll talk a little bit about leadership or my experiences in the military. If you are up to that. Or just my experiences living in Hawaii. Period. Aloha. <laughs>